recent college graduate, and I'm one of millions of Americans struggling to repay our student loans. Our stories are more than cliches. We're real people looking for help to control our debt and move forward with our lives. I just graduated. I'm currently in deferment, but I'm about $30,000 in debt. Nicole Faulkman is a social worker. Deferment means that payment of your student loan is temporarily delayed. When she borrowed, she didn't realize the impact of the loan she'd taken. It was when I received my first loans, which came in seven different envelopes, and there was $100 here and $200 there. I just, it was very overwhelming, and I realized that I just couldn't do it, and I needed to explore other options. These loans stay with us long after college is over. It's not like a car payment where you feel like there's an end in sight or something that, that has a short term. It just... It almost buries you, like there's no way out. Her coworker Mary Denning is a mother of four and has almost two hundred thousand dollars in student loan debt. It's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. If there is like major anxiety in my life, it's pretty much the student loan debt. At this point in her life, Mary wonders if college was really worth it. I have friends who are not collegiately educated that are doing better financially than I am. They have their homes, they have boats, they have cars, they go on vacations, they have savings accounts. When you hear that young families put off buying a home or car, think of Mary. She doesn't see herself buying a house anytime soon. Reports from the Federal Reserve Bank of New York show more people under 30 are working to pay off loans rather than investing in a car or home. They threaten everything you own, so anything your name is attached to is up for grabs if you can't make those student loan payments. Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren proposed a bill to allow student borrowers to refinance their debt like you would refinance a car or mortgage payments, but it didn't pass. We still have 40 million Americans out there who are trying to deal with $1.2 trillion in student loan debt. Homeowners are refinancing, small businesses are refinancing. We just want young people who got an education to have their shot at refinancing. People like Mary hope the president's new pay-as-you-earn repayment plan will cover them. The plan caps your monthly repayment at 10% of your income. The new executive order covers people who borrowed money between October 2007 and October 2011. Those of us with loans appreciate what the president did, but we still need more help. We hope politicians can work out a deal and allow us to refinance. Christine Alexis, Consumer Mojo.